I don't know about you, but sometimes it feels like a goddamn Olympic sport to lie to your parents. Like, that's what it is. And so, yeah. Hell yeah, bitch. What's up, you guys? And welcome back to my haunted house party. Uh, <laughs> so, last night I had a bit of um, a crisis. <laughs> I was all like... I want to cut off all my hair and I want to dye it jet black and I posted this to Tumblr and you guys were like Isabella no please <laughs> and I was like um y'all it's my hair I'm gonna do what I want with it um however upon further introspection like I've been having a time like the past few days I've been having like a bit of a de depression session and by last few days I mean um last 18 years of my life uh and, you know, when I get sad, uh, I get impulsive, and, um, so I don't make the best decisions, and I just, I feel like I'm gonna regret cutting off all my hair, so I'm not gonna cut off my hair. However, <laughs> we are gonna dye it Gerard Way era from, like, Revenge Black, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get in contact with our inner goth selves so stay tuned for that i've actually never dyed my hair like by myself before <laughs> so this is gonna be interesting uh i got this the lady at the store just was like here take this stuff and i was like "Ooh, neat uh, <laughs> she she gave me a kit with a bowl and like a little brush and some gloves so thanks for that and um the color we are using is Jet Black by Ion. And yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> I got all this from Sally's. So hell yeah. And we got a 20 developer and whatever the fuck this is. She, she told me I needed it and I was like, okay, sounds legit. Okay. By the way, we only have like an hour to do this because when my dad gets home, He's going to kick my ass for doing this. He's going to be like, Isabella, in his Honduran accent. He's going to be like, Isabella, why are you... <laughs> Let's just say, I can't do a Honduran accent. I might be Hispanic. Cannot mimic my dad's accent. It's one of a kind. Um, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is getting real. I find dyeing my hair incredibly therapeutic, so whenever I get depressed, I'm all like, okay, time to fuck with my hair. <laughs> and I feel like that's just a mood. Is this gonna come out? Ooh. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna squirt it into the bowl, I guess. <laughs> Bitch, are you ready? That's what it looks like when you squeeze a pimple. <laughs> I actually think I'm supposed to put the developer in first, but I don't know. Hold on. Okay, slight problem. I have no idea how much to use of this. Um, help? Ladies and gentlemen, it will help if you read the instructions. And I'm like, yeah, it will. I just ripped them. Fuck. All right, so it says things on here, but I'm Jarrett and I'm 19 and I don't know how to read, so we're just gonna wing this. So, usually, when me and my mom dye my hair, we use eight ounces of developer, which I had to convert to milliliters, because, hello, I'm gay and can't do math. <laughs> but we're just gonna wing this and see how it goes. I'm fucking shaking. What the fuck? Oh my god, hello? Hello? I just used the entire bottle, so... <laughs> Fellas, when doing your hair, just wing it. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Nothing could possibly go wrong. You won't fry your hair. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> she doesn't want to come out! That was me when I was 12 and in the closet. She didn't want to come out. <laughs> she she won't stay in that closet. <laughs> oh shit, fuck. 
can't wait for my dad to get home and he's gonna be all like, what the fuck did you do to your hair? And I'm gonna be like, it's a mystery. So, <laughs> I guess we just mix this. I feel like such a beauty. It smells terrible, by the way. <laughs> like, this does not smell good. Ooh, yeah. Mix it. Mix it real good. I feel like a little witch. You know, like a little witch with a little something something. <laughs> oh my god, mix. I think I need it more developer. Not gonna lie. Like, I think I needed to buy more. But, oh well, it's too late now. Also, this doesn't want to come out. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> that, Jesus. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. So we finally got her to come out. Took a minute. Took a little bit of introspection, but we did it. I'm desperately trying to get this done before my dad gets home. It's like when you're a kid and like you're smuggling cookies in the middle of the night, you know? Like I used to steal sweet bread all the time and this doesn't want to open. Um, and you know, you were just like desperately trying to like sneak all the goodies before your parents caught you and like whipped out a sandal and smacked you. <laughs> Heck yeah, we love that Latino kid life. Um. <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, you can see my sports bra. Let's pretend that I'm not a messy bitch and I put on the proper bra for this outfit. Um, but here's the finished product of how it turned out. <laughs> We're goth now, hello. <laughs> um. Yeah, my my grandma called me um, as I was dyeing my hair to be all like, Isabella, I love your brown hair so much, oh my gosh. And I feel like it was um, God telling me not to. But you know, I don't hate it. I think it turned out really cute. So, <laughs> I love it when I'm like a hairstylist. <laughs> Someone kill me. Um, but yeah, here's how it turned out. And I think it's very cute. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> um, just a FYI for those who um, are dyeing their hair. Make sure you put on coconut oil or like Vaseline around like your neck <laughs> up here or else it'll get all over. And foundation doesn't cover it, so. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, but that's all I got. Um, I feel very goth. I feel very in tune with my inner goth self. So yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you for joining my haunted house party.